I believe the whole House and the American people deserve to know how I came to the decision that brings us here today. On September 11, 2012, a terrorist attack on our consulate in Libya left four of our countrymen dead, including our ambassador. Since that time, four committees of the House have been investigating these events, and those committees have done exemplary work. Chairman Issa, Chairman McKeon, Chairman Rogers, and Chairman Royce, and all the members of their respective committees uh, deserve our gratitude. But last week, a line was crossed in two places. First, it came to light that the White House did more to obscure what happened and why than what we were led to believe. Second, we now know that the administration uh, defied a formal congressional subpoena. Our committee sought the full truth, and the administration tried to make sure that they wouldn't find it, which means they tried to prevent the American people from finding the truth as well. In my view, these discoveries compel the House to re respond as one institution and establish one select committee, a committee with robust authority, a committee that will do its work while the House continues to focus on the people's priorities. I've asked Mr. Gowdy. He's a well-respected member of this body, and he has my complete confidence. And I will convey to you what I conveyed to him. This doesn't need to be, shouldn't be, and will not be a partisan process. Four Americans died at the hands of terrorists in a well-coordinated assault. And we will not take any shortcuts to the truth, accountability, or justice. And we will not allow any sideshows that distract us from those goals. Our system of a government depends on transparency and accountability. And either we do this well or we face the terrifying prospect of our people having less knowledge and less power over their own government. And we owe it to future generations to make the right choice. So I ask all the members of this body to reflect on this matter and ask you to support this res resolution.